Lithium is a soft light metal and it's highly reactive and it's one of the lightest elements out there. So when people pick up a lithium battery for the first time, one of the first things they notice is its weight compared to the alternative batteries that we're used to made with heavy lead plates and acid. Now, along with that, people might also notice right off the bat that there are noticeably much more expensive compared to what we're used to. A frequent question is, is the price increase of lithium batteries worth the benefits that they may bring as one of them being the weight reduction. Now, before I even dive into my own personal opinion, I, I do wanna spend a quick minute of going over what exactly is the difference between if you do get a lithium battery, what benefits do, could they possibly bring? Besides their weight reduction that you will notice right away, it is a vast difference. I remember the first time I picked one up, I was like, is this, is this empty? What's going on? It literally felt like picking up a empty box, but they are definitely smaller in size compared to lead acid batteries. Now, if you're looking to save weight on your bike, I can understand just that alone being the single reason why someone would choose to buy them. On baggers, I don't see a purpose for it, but on sport bikes, I can get behind of wanting to have more, you know, focusing more on weight reduction. There also is the benefit that where if the bike battery sits for a while, the lithium battery, it does tend to hold its charge pretty good compared to the Sportster per se with an AGM battery. I know with my Sportster, if it sits more than a day or two, it's got to sit on the tender just so we can have a good startup next time we ride. And I know I am not the only one who has this sort of story going on. So there is the benefit of the drainage being significantly less compared to the alternative. And if you care about the impact on the environment you have with the products you choose to use, Lithium batteries are much more environmentally friendly with them having less toxic materials in them compared to AGM batteries. So that also might be a reason why some people are more inclined to use them. But I do believe the more significant draw to their appeal is the them holding charge longer as well as that significant weight reduction on them. The reason they're more expensive is mainly comes down to the materials that they use are a little bit more pricier as well as the technology to make the lithium batteries does require more specialized equipment and this kind of falls into uh, for why they're more expensive. Fact still remains fact and lithium batteries are not ideal for an all-around performance as a battery where they definitely do struggle on startups in colder weather. It, it takes them quite a bit of time to warm up to generate enough power to turn the bike over and for people who live in colder weather areas or areas where the early morning is much colder this definitely could be a nuisance. I did mention how they do hold their charge much better compared to AGM batteries, but it is also worth stating that lithium batteries do require a specific type charger for them to be charged. And if you by chance let it drain and it sits long enough, they typically don't recover well from being drained compared to, you know, an AGM battery, a lead acid battery. And if you let it drain down, you still have the chance of reviving it with a charge. So yes, they, they, do, they don't drain as quick, but if you do let it drain, you're most likely gonna have to buy another battery. I do have experience of putting a lithium battery on my bike, the Sportster in particular. And before I even continue with my experience, I am aware that some older bikes are, not, are just not compatible with having a lithium battery on them. However, I am not a fan of them. I'm just gonna get to the point right away. I am not a fan of them. I had put one in and there is, you know, I'm sure if you Google, you will see many people talk about them catching fire and getting caught. And I was one of those people where I put it in, I went for a ride, that battery got so hot that I just felt like any minute it was gonna explode. And it, it really startled me and I did not like it. To me, that was a really big red flag. I got rid of it right away. Now, if you go and ask a hundred riders out there, you are gonna find same exact situation. Either some people are really for them or some people are 
really against them, don't want nothing to do with them, and will talk about, you know, them getting caught or those stories of them catching fire. The manufacturers of them have spoken out about this. They do say those instances are very rare and they do not happen often, but I've heard it enough times and even just from my own experience of how hot it got that I know I will never use one, at least not in the near future. To me, AGM batteries are much more reliable, especially that, you know, they recover pretty well if they drain out a little bit. And on top of that, just being able to start in rougher conditions. In the end of the day, the decision is yours and what you're trying to get out of the battery is really what it comes down to. For some, they have great experience of it, that weight reduction is worth it, just even that alone, not on you know them being more environmentally friendly or them having a holding charge longer, just the weight reduction alone, because it truly is significant. If you haven't held one, next time you're out in a shop and a dealer or whatnot, Ask if they have one nearby, just so you can feel the difference, because it, it had truly shocked me. But to me, the cost to them is not worth the potential benefits they can bring. And plus, I already have kind of a sour taste in my mouth from them. But this is all part of an open discussion. This is solely my opinion and my stance on them. You could probably be truly for them, for them and think that I'm just, you know, talking a bunch of smack or I don't get it and whatnot. And if that's you, Put your feelings out in the comments, you know. I am not here to say that my opinion is the correct opinion, but if you're for them or against them, let me know in the comments and let me know why. Maybe, you know, I am definitely curious to hear people who are for them and why, because the majority of people I've ever met, I don't think I've ever, yeah, I actually don't think I've in person ever met someone, especially working in the back of the shop, any techs who were for them. So if you do use them and you like them, do let me know. I am curious to hear your perspective and why you made the switch from AGM to lithium batteries. But besides that, uh, if you have any other questions that you're curious about or just want my opinions on, let me know in the comments. I'm all for it. Uh, I do appreciate y'all watching this video. I appreciate all the support y'all do and keeping this channel going and just this little community that we're building. But with that said, I hope y'all have a great day. Y'all stay safe out on the road, but most of all, don't forget to spread love.